Cleveland Guardians and the Seattle Mariners. Basically, I pick them in this game here. At Bet US, you got Cleveland minus 110. If you like the M's, it's even money. Seven, the total here under 125. If you do like uh, not very many runs tonight, and that uh, may make a little bit of sense. Got Shane Bieber going for the uh, for the Guardians, and then Logan Gilbert going for Seattle. Bieber's been good. Four of his last five starts. ERA of 162. And uh, Gilbert, eh, not so much. Scott? Yeah. Give us the handicap here. Yeah, I'm going to go first five in this one, and it's based on current form. I mentioned Cleveland's been, you know, the crew's rising to the top and threw them in the mix, and I know they lost last night. But first five innings, Cleveland on the money line over Seattle in this one for me. And the current form finds Shane Bieber. You just mentioned his numbers in much better shape than Logan Gilbert right now. I mean, Bieber's allowed six earned runs, 32 base runners, one home run at his last five starts, spanning 33 and a third. That means he's given you almost seven innings pitched per start, and he's got those fantastic numbers. Uh, he's punched out 34 batters along the way. Uh, so he's getting it done, man. His control is outstanding right now at this point of the season. And Gilbert's been, again, a little bit roughed up of late. They're one and five Seattle in his last six starts. He's got a hefty 797 ERA and buck 82 whip in his four August outings, does Mr. Gilbert. His strikeouts to walks this month are weak. He's got 13 Ks and nine walks, and I think he's going to have more issues tonight against this team. Cleveland's top 10 in batting average, OPS, WOBA, weighted runs created plus on the road against righties over the past six weeks. Now, we've talked about this on the show. I, you know, I always say, you know, dump those April numbers in August. Dump those May numbers in August, even June to a certain extent. You know, when it gets to the third week of August or whatever, I, I'm looking at maybe July 5th. Is about as deep right. as I'll go back when it comes to hitting metrics and get rid of all that that stuff that doesn't matter anymore. And when you look at Seattle, you're talking about a team that's dead last in baseball and batting average at home against righties over the last six weeks also. They just haven't been able to hit the ball well, and they're like third from the bottom at OPS, Wobo, when it runs created plus in that neighborhood. And both p- uh, pins are decent. Uh, so I decided I'm just going to go on current form of these pitchers, current form of the bats in tonight's situation, and that's how I came up with Cleveland in the first five innings tonight. And that is uh, my, my best bet for the show. Yeah, and that does make a lot of sense. You talk about uh, Bieber and his numbers, rock solid. It looks like the old Shane Bieber is back. Yeah. And then as far as you know, Gilbert goes, yeah, 0-2 in his last eight starts. The ERA, uh, 5.61, so not good at all. And I know Seattle could be a scary team at sure. home. I mean, Hanniger has been outstanding, uh, you know, again, and, you know, maybe they, they do something, uh, you know, late in this game, possibly. But, you know, that's not your bet. You're, I think your bet is, is a smart bet. Jump on Gilbert uh, from the beginning there. So let's put Scott down, lock him in for that one. He's taking Cleveland uh, first five, going to lay 125 in this one for Cleveland to outscore the Mariners after five innings.